10 Best Zombie Movies. Are you an Undead Movies fan, but don't have much luck to find one that will give you goosebumps? Well, relax, because at this time, we're bringing you a top 10 of the best zombie movies. Number 10, Maggie, 2015. Directed by Henry Hobson and starring Arnold Schwarzenegger alongside Abigail Breslin, this film seeks to give a different perspective of a zombie apocalypse, as it's more focused on the drama of a father who is losing his daughter. This is the story of Wade, a father who after learning that his daughter Maggie has been bitten by an infected one, has to deal with the slow transformation of her and make the difficult decision to send her to quarantine or end her on his own. Without a doubt, a very sad movie that seeks to capture the zombie infection as a real-life terminal illness, rather than the classic transformation of hungry beings. On the other hand, although critics do not praise Schwarzenegger's performance, people were surprised to see him in this type of role, where he doesn't make use of his strength or characteristic muscles, but works more with his eyes and seeks to convey emotions. Number 9. The Girl with All the Gifts, 2016. Terror, suspense, drama. What more could you possibly want? This film, directed by Colm McCarthy, tells the story of Melanie, Sienna Nonna, a girl who belongs to a second generation of zombies. This means she still has awareness and feelings as a normal person, but she continues with the insatiable desire to eat human flesh. Because she has not been directly infected, but was so from the womb. She, along with a group of children with the same conditions, are the key to finding a cure for the infection caused by fungi, which is why they are locked in a military bunker, along with Dr. Caroline Caldwell, Glenn Close, who seeks to sacrifice the children in order to save humanity. Miss Justino, Gamma Arterson, is a psychologist and the children's teacher who achieves a unique connection with the main character and Sergeant Parks, Patty Considine, leader of the military base that seems to be the one who mistrusts the children the most and does everything to keep them at bay. For critics, this is an interesting film, raised from a different point of view, of the zombie and not the survivor, but still doesn't get away from the cliches of the genre. Despite this, the film won the British Independent Film Award for Breakthrough Producer. No! Get out! Number 8. 28 Weeks Later, 2007. Directed by Juan Carlos Fresnadillo and starring Robert Carlyle, Jeremy Renner, and Rose Byrne, this is the continuation of 28 Days Later, told from the point of view of the other characters. This time, the film focuses on a father who, along with his sons, manages to survive an attack of infected people, losing part of his family, including his wife, in the process. After a while, they seem to have arrived at a shelter in the city, where it looks like they have gained some control over the infection and there is safety enough to lead a normal life. Everything changes when the wife, who is still alive because she is somehow immune to infection, is found by her family, who want to take her back to the shelter, but they don't know that this may unleash chaos once again. A film full of tension, suspense, gore, and some romance that you can't miss. Number 7. Zombieland, 2009. Directed by Ruben Fleischer and starring Emma Stone, Woody Harrelson, Jesse Eisenberg, and Abigail Berlin, Zombieland turns out to be a fun movie that mixes comedy and horror. Of course. The story focuses on Columbus, an American teenager who plans out a series of rules to survive the zombie apocalypse that is killing the world. Along the way is a series of characters, Tallahassee, a genius when killing zombies with a somewhat murky past. 
Wichita and Little Rock, two sisters who were swindling to live before the zombie apocalypse. Thus, after a series of events, Columbus decides to go with Tallahassee in search of the last Twinkie in the world, and the sisters to an amusement park. Although for the critics, this film does not have an important background or a transcendental history, the dialogues, the shots, the on-screen graphics with the rules of survival, the flashbacks, the voiceover, and other elements make it unique and entertaining. On the other hand, it raised more than $60.8 million in 17 days in the United States and won the grand prize of the Public of the Year 2009 at the Sitkiz Film Festival. If the girls in your neighborhood are now up little monsters, well, maybe it's time to stop driving carpool. Number 6. World War Z, 2013. It was a blockbuster and grossed $502.3 million internationally. However, for the critics, it was flat and it loses strength, vitality, and moves away more and more from terror, leaving scenes of suspense. Number 5. Dawn of the Dead, 1978. This is the sequel to The Night of the Living Dead and is also directed by George A. Romero. The story continues with the epidemic of the undead that have already killed almost all of humanity, and a group of survivors, a reporter, a helicopter pilot, and two WAT agents, find refuge in a shopping center where they enjoy all the amenities and entertainment possible. But after a while, the main characters realize that happiness is fleeting and begin to get depressed. As if this was not enough, a horde of zombies is accumulating at the door, and a gang of looters threatens to enter by force, which did not augur a good ending. This film is classic terror, but beyond that, it is considered to have a background that criticizes consumerism and capitalism, which makes us wonder what is more dangerous, zombies or human conflict. Dawn of the Dead was a blockbuster and grossed about $55 million worldwide. Number 4. Soul Station 2016. Written and directed by Sang Ho Yan, this was an animated prequel to the movie Train to Busan, in which they tell us the beginning of this epidemic. The film begins with a girl who has just argued with her boyfriend and has nowhere to stay, so she decides to stay at the Soul Station, which serves as a refuge for the homeless. This is where the chaos begins as a man comes in dying because of a strange disease and starts attacking anyone who crosses his path. After this event, the infection is unleashed and the alleged father of the girl contacts the boyfriend to begin looking for her in what is, apparently, the end of the world. The question here is, who is the real enemy? The director, beyond introducing us a zombie movie, poses a cruel and violent society which shows us that humans can be a worse threat than a simple zombie. Number 3. Train to Busan This Korean film, directed by Sang Ho Yan, tells the story of a father who is a successful businessman with a lot of money, but no time to give to his little daughter. This is why on the girl's birthday and after a failed gift, he decides to cheer her up by taking her to her mother's house in Busan. But what he doesn't know is that the train would be infested with zombies eager to eat human flesh. They're not alone in this fight for survival because among the characters are youngsters of a baseball team and their group of cheerleaders, a pregnant woman, her husband, and a busy businessman. While this film is about zombies, the director exploits human relationships that are developed in the full apocalypse. For this reason, you will not see only blood and terror in the tape, but also the conflicts that are generated in the group before the imminent threat and the situation of life or death. It was highly acclaimed by critics, both for the visual effects, the history, and the music, and for the social issues it covers. In addition, it managed to raise about $83.5 million in the U.S. and $11.6 million in Korea. Number 2. 
number two. Night of the Living Dead, 1968. A horror film classic and a cult movie, this is George A. Romero's debut feature, which tells the story of Barbara, who, while walking with her brother through a cemetery, is attacked by a living dead man. She escapes towards a house in which she locks herself and finds another refugee, Ben, who makes barricades in order not to let the undead in, who have revived because of the radiation of a satellite. As the film progresses, we find more characters that join the group that struggles to live until the next day. Starring Judith O'Day, Dwayne Jones, Marilyn Eastman, Judith Riley, Carl Hardman, and Keith Wayne, this film has a strong criticism of political and social situations at the time of filming, the 1960s decade, such as racism. Although Romero declared that he chose Jones because he liked his performance, choosing him to star as the group leader was a strong blow to a racist society. Before mentioning first place, here are some zombie movies that did not enter this top. Nevertheless, no fan of this genre can miss them. I Am Legend. Wreck. Resident Evil. Shaun of the Dead. I Am a Hero. And now, yes, the movie that occupies the first place is 28 Days Later, 2002. This is a film directed by Danny Boyle that tells the story of Jim, Cillian Murphy, a young man who, after a bicycle accident, wakes up alone in the hospital 28 days later, and little by little, he realizes that something strange is happening. It is then that he learns that the world has been plagued by an epidemic that transforms people into violent beings and with an insatiable desire to eat human flesh. So he will have to find a way to survive with Selena, Naomi Harris, Hannah, Megan Burns, and Frank, Brendan Gleeson, until they reach a military base where they will find refuge, or so they believe. It is not the typical movie of the hero who is going to save the world because the protagonists are ordinary people who do everything possible to cope with this series of fatal events as best as they can while trying to protect their loved ones. A film with a good plot, good shots, and an interesting background of how humanity is degrading itself before the imminent end and how far humans are able to go in order to survive. What did you think about this special zombie top? Don't forget to comment which of these movies is your favorite and which one you would like to see if you haven't seen any of them. Like the video, subscribe, and share it. Until next time, 